You only have to look at the faces of some of the children that come into the park and play and the arena uh, to realise that uh, it really was all worthwhile. From important first steps to important first wins. Saying goodbye training wheels and hello sore shins. There for soggy picnics. We're the ones you'll always love. There for the victorious moment. At the view from above. For the ice cream we lost. For the knees we grazed. And for that music that soothed us. On those long summer days. The park is a huge area of 450 acres of formal gardens, play areas, parkland, heathland and seven lakes. So it's, it's a big, big area. They're the best possible places to come and get fit and healthy, uh, not just physically but mentally as well. We were so passionate about getting this area protected that we did persist and the group agreed in the end that we would in fact be quite happy to have it protected under Fields in Trust. Uh, and of course, ultimately, uh, we did get the protection. The fact that Her Majesty the Queen gave us permission to use her name as part of the Queen Elizabeth II Fields Challenge really gave the charity an impetus in terms of the amount of land that we've protected over the last four years. We've probably doubled the amount of land that we have across the country. We've now got that complete legacy across the country of green spaces that are protected forever. The difference I think it's made being a QE2 park uh, is basically that we know we're going to have this area forever um, to hand on to future generations and that's most important.